in today's video guide i'll be showing you how to install play store on windows 10 or windows 11. please follow the instructions in the video guide in order to enjoy your favorable android applications so as you can see i have different applications for android that are working on my windows 11 pc so please uh the first thing you're going to do is let me show you the first step is going to be uh click your windows pc and type programs then i uh, look for add or remove a program then i'm going to click open on that then the first thing you're going to do is to scroll through these programs the list of programs and check and see if you have any WSA or Windows subsystem for Android application that is already installed. So the first step you have to do is to uninstall it. In case you do not have it, please do not mind. You can continue to the next step. But in case you have the Windows subsystem for Android, please first uninstall that. Then you can continue to the process. Okay. So you can see that I have the Windows subsystem for Android. So click on this. Then click uninstall and then click uninstall and then give it some time when you're done uninstalling then we can continue to the next phase when you are done with that click the windows button and type features then click open then uh, under this window for windows features scroll down and look for virtual machine platform. Then click on virtual machine platform and tick. If it is not on, if it is on, then it's okay. Then scroll down and look for Windows subsystem for Linux. Then also enable that in case it is not enabled. So when you finish, click OK. Then they're going to prompt you to restart your computer. So please go ahead and restart your computer now now then you can continue with the next step so i will start my computer too if you're done turning on the virtual and the windows subsystem for android uh, if you're done restarting your computer uh, go ahead then i'll attach this link in the description uh we're going to download the windows subsystem for android on our computers so i'll attach this link to download the windows subsystem for android uh, for windows 11 you can follow this link and download from this link i'll attach it then uh, for windows 10 you can also follow ahead and download from this link you can also download that and it is also going to work for you uh, they always update these subsystems so i also attach the main link where you can get any version that you prefer so we also have the maybe if you are using the pre-release builds, the testing ones, if you want to download for Windows um, Windows 11, the ARM um, version, you can also check out this other link. So I'll attach all the three links. The first link will be for Windows 11. If you have Windows 11, just follow that link. If you have Windows 10, follow that link. And if you have maybe other versions, the ARM, um, the pre-release, you can also follow that link to download your Windows subsystem for Android. So uh, let me go to Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, do the same, go to Windows 10. So since I have Windows 11, I'll go to Windows 11. So you scroll down. Uh, what you're going to do, you're going to look for, we have this, we have a difference between the versions, okay? So you're going to be looking for the version you prefer. So we have the one which contains uh, Amazon App Store, and, and sorry, it, it does not contain Amazon App Store, but contains the Google Play services. That is the name. Okay, so you take note of the name. Uh, then we have the other one that contains the Amazon App Store and also contains the Google Play, the Google Play Store services. So choose the Windows subsystem that you are going to feel like you want to use. In case you only want the Amazon and google play you can go for this in case you do not want amazon then you can also choose this so since i only need the google play store services i'm going to choose this 
Okay, release 90. Okay, so I'll scroll down. Then uh, I'm going to go and choose that one, this one, the first one, because it is the one that I want. So I'm going, I'm, I'll go ahead and click that one. So when you click that one, it is going to start downloading. Okay, that it is downloading. Okay, uh, so it has finished downloading. Uh, then I'm going to open, or I'll open this. Then I'll go to my downloads folder. So I'll, this is the file we've downloaded. I'll right click on it. Then I'll go to extract. I'm going to extract the file. So after extracting, uh, then you can delete this. In case you don't have storage space, you can delete that. So I'll delete that. No need of that one. Shift delete. Then I'm going to copy this file. Copy or I'll cut the whole file, cut. Then I'll go to my documents. Then I'll paste it in my documents folder for easy access. So uh, the, when you are done, we're going to open up this folder and also open up this. Now, let me explain something. When you get here, scroll down and look for run. But when we install this, it is going to install on the C drive by default. In case you want to install it on a D drive or maybe any other drive, maybe because you don't have storage, enough storage on your C drive, then you can watch my next video that is going to show you how to store that on a D drive or any other drive because it also needs some time to explain that, okay? But in case you're okay with installing it on a C drive, you can continue with that. So I'm going to click run. So right click and click run as administrator. Then I'm going to click yes. Then I'm going to open up the PowerShell. So they're saying, administrator so you can just do nothing let it do everything it wants to do it is going to go through the installation process don't mind about anything it is going to do everything so just follow along okay so installing everything so it is done installing uh, they can, they are showing you, you can see here down this, they can bring multiple dialog boxes, but just click any, okay? So just click on continue, then it is going to start Windows subsystem for Android installation, okay? So just wait, hold on. Okay, so it has finished installing the Windows subsystem for Android, okay? So uh, I can go ahead and close this. This is These are the settings for the Windows subsystem. If you want, you can go through them and see and turn on everything you want. So I'll go ahead and close that. Continue. Okay, now when I click on continue, uh, then I have this. They're going to automatically open up the Google Play for me, okay? So after that, Windows subsystem for Android has finished installing, then Google Play is going to automatically open. Maybe in case Google Play does not automatically open, like this one, assuming it does not open up like this, maybe it just goes back to the desktop. You can close all this, even this you can close. Assuming it just goes back to your desktop. So what you're going to do, just go and click the Windows button and then type Play Store. Then you go ahead and open up your Play Store. So they'll bring you that, click Sign In. So go ahead and sign in into your Play Store. Let me sign into mine. Okay, uh, now we have signed in into Play Store. So you can go ahead and look for any application that you want to download or install any application that you want, okay? So maybe I'll go ahead and install Instagram. So I click that and click in install Instagram. So Instagram is downloading and is currently being installed okay so basically that is how you install play store on windows 11 or windows 10. in case you have any issues with the process kindly leave a comment in the comment section and i'll be getting back to you as soon as possible
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification button for more videos. Goodbye. I sign out.